It didn't take long for the rhetoric to turn white hot when President Donald Trump on Wednesday formally recognized Jerusalem as Israel's capital and announced the beginning of a plan to move the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to the Holy City. While Muslims around the Middle East promised three days of rage over the announcement, a panel member appearing on ILTV's special broadcast summarized the Israel argument. The Arabs don't have a claim on Jerusalem. It was never an Arab capital. The Muslims don't have a claim on Jerusalem, said Ari Fold, the COO of Standing Together. When you say it's one sided, yes, it's the side of truth, to give in to terrorism and to tell lies is not going to bring peace. When the Arabs realize the world is not playing their game anymore, if they want to make peace, then peace will come. See the full panel discussion as Israel reacted to Trump's announcement, it appeared on ILTV. His decision was based on the 1995 Jerusalem Embassy Act that instructed the federal government to relocate the American embassy to Jerusalem and to recognize that city as Israel's capital. But it's been bypassed ever since. Trump had promised during his campaign to take this action, and fulfilled that promise on Wednesday. World Israel News reported the city's walls were illuminated with the Israeli and U.S. flags in appreciation to Trump for recognizing the Israeli capital. The mayor released a statement that the recognition is a historic declaration that sends a clear message to the entire world that the United States stands alongside the Jewish people, the state of Israel, and Jerusalem.